Hello, my name is Howard Corbett. Today we're going to talk to you about building a performance culture. We're going to talk about what, what matters, how you do it, and the big opportunity to get gains of performance within your organization. The objectives really that we want to cover is we are going to introduce you to our 5D framework, which is a whole structure for making this stuff happen easier and better. We're going to describe how it accelerates performance and how it increases prevent competitive advantage. Hopefully, as a result of this introduction, you will be able to arm yourself with enough information so you can actually go back in your organization and look at some changes in your business strategy, and then maybe there might be an opportunity for a relationship with us that would lead to a successful partnership. What we're looking at is a better approach to organizational performance, just like high jump where there was the scissors and then the western roll and then the straddle and the Fosbury flop and each one of those methods achieved a higher level of performance and the old me method really left you at a competitive disadvantage. The world is changing very fast for business these days and organizations are looking for ways to approach the marketplace in a way that really makes you more competitive than you could have been with the way that you did yesterday. Ultimately, if you can get to the highest level, to a very high level of acceleration, you're just going to start to do disruptive innovation, which means you're causing great pain for your competition. Your people will not feel free to contribute their ideas in a way that creates disruptive innovation unless they have the courage to dare greatly. This is really about stepping out into uncharted territory, and it's very, it takes a lot of courage to get into that space. Daring greatly only happens in colleges that welcome reward and develop this type of behavior. And so what we're going to be talking about is how do you do that? So how do you get there? First of all, you need to build a culture. And which it easily taps into the ideas and expertise of your people. You need to create an environment where it's safe for people to offer and share their ideas and they feel like it's not a dangerous thing, even if they may seem crazy. And you need to develop the systems and structures that deploy an army of your people on innovative, really as innovative contributors. Multiple parallel development efforts really determines your pace of change. And how do you organize yourself so that can happen? I'd like you to think right now a little bit about what keeps you up at night. What are the challenges you have that you would really like to see solved? And think about those in terms of uh, what they are specifically and as we go through these slides take those issues that are top of mind and maybe ask yourself the question could what we're talking about address those things and what we have found when we're talking with CEOs is if you have a good discussion about what's keeping them up at night these systems and methods really do make a difference and you can resolve issues that are very hard to resolve otherwise. And that's where we've developed this 5D framework, which has got five dimensions to it. Uh, we call them getting ready, uh, mobilizing for change, facilitating for measurable results, developing the change execution disciplines, and developing leaders of change. And I'm going to walk you through these five elements. They all need to be working sort of at the same time, but we use this, and we really believe it's a proven system to simplify and accelerate your results, and it really does work. So let's have a look at it just briefly um, on the five things. Getting ready really is about accurately identifying the drivers for change and the resistors that will sabotage change. Um, mobilizing for change is about unleashing an army to drive change initiatives. How do you get lots of people involved in parallel driving improvements into the organization? What we've implemented in a number of companies has been this change lead, a structure for change leadership and a structure for the steady state production. So we don't try and get rid of the hierarchy, but we want to use it for what it's best for. But we introduce a dual operating structure that really enables accelerated change. And where we've started to do this with customers, there is significant acceleration of performance and change in the organization and buy into that process. There are three levels. There is the integration team, the top team, which involves people from several levels of the organization. And their job is to try and create the mandate for change and create the focus for change. 
There are strategic theme teams, and these are um, that are led by a team, but it's they're leading it over a period of uh, typically years because they need to understand it. They need to understand the root cause of why you have that challenge, figure it out, and then lead it over time. And then there are solution teams that the strategic theme teams are assigning to pieces of work that needs to get done. And we try to break the whole work down into small chunks of work that'll make a difference and create payoff on a fairly fast pace. Uh, facilitating for measurable results. If I'm going to mobilize a lot of people for change, what you really need to be able to do is put them in teams and use facilitation so that they go about doing what you want them to do in a way that's far better than what they know how to do because you facilitated it. Facilitation is a very, very significant enabler that allows you to deploy multiple teams and it also enables significant culture shift. As these teams are implementing change or they're designing change and they're understanding the real challenges, they need to lead change and typically most of these teams are leading change across the organization and a lot of the people have departmental skills on making change, but they don't have organization-wide skills. So you've got to be able to really backfill them with the skills and processes and structures for leading large-scale change, organization-wide change, and an essential ingredient. And if you don't address this well, everything else that you do, all the design, all the redesign starts to fall apart. We find this is where the ball gets dropped a lot of times. And then finally, as you start to accelerate what you need to build uh, into your leadership team, and leadership really needs to happen throughout the organization, is to uncover and build the people that lead change more effectively. So you want to increase the leadership talent in the organization on multiple levels, and if you do this right, you're going to uncover and find leaders uh, and, and deploy a, a quantity of leadership within your organization significantly beyond what has historically been happening. So that really is an overview of the 5D framework. It is a proven system, it makes things surprisingly simple, and it accomplishes results that most CEOs are wishing for. They wish that people would just be far more responsive to their leadership and getting done what you want to get done. This helps it happen.